and I think it's recording now. Good. What's up, viewers? Uh, so I've had a request from some of the people in my Discord group, which is the people that makes up my entire island, uh, about making videos regarding taming. Everything from making a taming pen, to the whole taming process, to then talking about tames, what they're good for, you know, a whole nine yards. Because it hasn't been done before. Exactly. <laughs> um... So, in this first video, we're going to go ahead and talk about the Taming Pen. A Taming Pen, super easy to build. Pretty much everyone's going to need one if you really want to be able to effectively tame things. Though, keep in mind that it's one of those things that you're not really going to be able to build on other people's lands unless you get their permission uh, with the new claim system that just launched in Update 10. Uh, now, I do recommend keeping a Taming Pen built close to your base. Uh, that way, if something spawns and it's high level, you can just tame it right then and there on the spot. Or and if a random alpha decides to start murdering your base, you can just stick it in that and there you go. Easier dealing with what he said. Uh, so what you're going to want to do for this, uh, first of all, I do recommend building this out of stone because things don't really seem to damage stone, whereas wood and thatch take damage from just the simplest of creatures, really. What you're going to want to do is put down your floors in a 2x4 grid like this. Uh, keep in mind that if you want to tame something bigger, like an elephant, it's going to have to be a 3x4 instead of a 2x4. But since only wolves and lions and bears spawn on our island, this works for us. So after you place down your floors like this, you're going to go ahead and place door frames. And in order to cycle to the door frame, for those who don't know, you tap the T button. Door frame, all the way down on the sides. Just like that. What you're going to do is put walls at the back of it. And then here at the front, you're actually going to be putting a gate, but we'll get to that in just a moment. One thing I do recommend is putting walls on top because we have run into the issue where things that we're trying to tame will somehow be able to clamber over these door frames and it just, it, it's a nightmare. It's, it's annoying. So after you have all that placed down, go ahead and get you some roofs. Cycle through to the ramp. I skipped it like an idiot. Come on. Okay, I'm at the bring some ceilings. Okay, so apparently you're also going to need two ceilings. That's my bad that I didn't prepare for that. Let's go ahead and go craft those up right quick. over here, pop your ceilings in, pop your ramps in, and now all you have to do is lead the tame up this way, jump in, and leave out. And I mean that's basically all there is for a taming pen. It's super super easy to do. Obviously make sure that you place your gate. And there we go. Taming pen. Super easy. Makes life a lot easier. I can't tell you how many things I've solo tamed and how many things he's solo tamed. This this makes it so easy. I don't know how and to tame things. Honestly, you take very, very little damage, if any at all, after you get the tame in here. Keep in mind the luring process, you're probably gonna die a few times, so whenever you see something that you're interested in taming. I would recommend running back to your base, storing your stuff, then running out and starting the whole luring process. If you like this video, please give it a like, consider subscribing. I am going to make an entire series regarding this, just to kind of clear up some confusion that some players seem to have with the whole taming system. Now, in update 10.0, they did kind of mess tames up. We're still a little upset about that, but hopefully in time they'll end up 
altering the system to make it more worthwhile. But anyway, I'll see y'all guys around.